All right, y'all. I realized while I was out here tending the garden that um, I forgot to film. I got a little bit of stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to show you just kind of an update of this jungle back here. And my purple basil plant that there is some kind of buggy that really likes this one. I'm going to have to trim it back, dry it out. I have been pruning and pruning and pruning this plant. There's, It's just been really prolific. I had a helper. Then she took my watering can away, and now she's riding her tricycle. So, that's how that happened. I'm having to fill my watering cans and tote them out. This one is liking to play in the water. Here is a massive Black Beauty tomato plant. Lots of flowers getting ready to give me some fruit from those. Super excited. So here is my tomato jungle. These are my sun sugar cherry tomatoes. The stem got broken right here, if you can see, but these are still ripening up. I'm hoping to just, I've cut all the foliage back. I'm hoping to just get those ripened and then I'll snip it off at that broken piece. But there's just loaded down with fruit. And then this is my golden jubilee. I did pull a couple of fruit off of them and I've got a couple more that have grown up. I've got a couple more starting right there. And another one here who's probably, oh, there we go. Just about ready to start blushing. My Cherokee purple has some fruit on it. Lots of flowers on it that are getting ready to become fruit. And I got a not a pino plant. I don't know if I had that. I don't think I had that. Um, but I saw him and he was sad and lonely at the store. So I had to get him. I've gotten several fruit off of this so far. And as you can see, lots of buds and flowers coming up. And there's a little one playing in the soil of the bush beans I planted. Those are dragon tongue bush beans, a fall crop of those I started. I've had to replant <laughs> yeah, it tastes bad. Anna, how'd that dirt taste? <laughs> anyway, so I replanted Patty's pan squash. Something got a hold of them, but this one has just taken off, you guys. Just massive, taking over this whole corner. And finally, my pineapple ground cherries have started producing... And this plant shot up too, just like out of nowhere, there it was. I've got this little plant, I've tied him up. And it's a cherry variety, it's either the Kryptonites or the Brad's Atomic Grape. One of those. We'll see when it starts actually getting fruit on it. And here is another two. This little guy, he's quite shaded so I think that's what stunted him and while he's growing so slow and then this guy here and I'm not sure if he's a cherry variety or not on the other side of the bed over there is a black beauty that traveled across the bed but he's starting to get buds for blooms I did trim a big bit of that basil down. You see the holes from all the buggies. Yep, I trimmed a good bit of this basil down. I'm gonna clean it up and hang it upside down in the house uh, to dry it and preserve it for later because dried basil is always welcome in my kitchen. So there's our update, short and sweet. COVID has kinda made everything crazy and I've been a little inconsistent. So I'm gonna to try to do better, but until next time, thank y'all so much for being around.